Hello everyone, I'm Salad, and today we're going to take a look at two trailers that were recommended to me to watch. The Halo 3 Believe trailer and the Landfall trailer. I don't know what this Landfall trailer is, but the Halo 3 trailer is obviously a trailer for Halo 3, which uh, we've already played. And of course, it's a little bit strange maybe to be watching a trailer after we've already played the game, but... I think it's fine this way. We don't get any spoilers this way when we actually play the game. Uh, these are supposed to be really interesting. And although this one, the Belief trailer is pretty short, the Landfall trailer is a whole seven minutes. That's a bit a bit lengthy for a trailer. So this should be pretty interesting. So we're going to start with the, um, the Belief trailer. I don't know if there is a recommended order to be watching these in, but I'm sure it doesn't matter too much. Uh, these are both, I believe, from content I've already seen. So, let's just start this and see what this is all about. And, okay, we got a lot of soldiers not looking so good. Not having a fun time. What about with an assault rifle? We got some brutes. Interesting still shots. It doesn't look- it almost looks like they're figurines. Yeah, it's like they're toy soldiers, all just frozen in time. That might actually be what, what this is and how this was filmed. Very cool, very detailed. How'd that guy get stuck in the ground? Oh, he's got the, got the hammer. All these poor soldiers with the assault rifle, if only they'd been given uh, better weapons. Uh, got jackals too. And grunts. Oh! The Master Chief? Somebody killed him? Well, that's not right. That ain't cannon. Oh! Wait, no. We can move. I'll leave. Halo 3. Let me see, what was that at the end there? He was holding something. That's the Master Chief. He's holding some sort of orb. I don't think I remember anything like this in Halo 3. Is that, is like, is Cortana in there? There's like a, and then like the sun is reflected in his visor. Why is it the surface of the sun? That's crazy. Yeah, I wonder what this is, um, what this is all about. This guy, this brute that apparently got the master chief killed him even though he's he's still alive at the end there he's got a uh, he's got his assault rifle there but like what i'm trying to figure out what's going on in this trailer so obviously this is a big battle um we've got a bunch of nice wreckage here this looks really cool a lot of people frozen in time all these poor soldiers that have only assault rifles just just give them all fuel rod guns and we'll win the war easy <laughs> it's as simple as that we got Mallet Man over here. And we got Jackals in the background as well. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what this is. And like I said, I don't remember anything in Halo 3 that resembled that quite. Uh, maybe I'm just forgetting, but yeah, this is curious. This is a curious trailer. Um, I really like, though, the effect in the Master Chief's visor here of looking through. I guess it's it's, it's like a... A burning land, maybe a war-torn area, um, but it just looks like it's the surface of the sun. Believe, yeah, very cool. I think that's that's all of it. Jump in. Okay, so that's all of that. I don't know if I have too much more to say about this trailer. I like, like I said, it's really cool, and I like that it's um, has a very unique style where everybody's everybody's frozen in place, and they all look like they are. Like the figurines. So I, I'm i wondering if this was like an actual scale model that they made and then filmed around. I feel like that's what's going on here. And the, the brutes look extra fearsome in this. Yeah, and I don't know why, why it shows the Master Chief being killed like this. Or, or taken prisoner, or whatever it is that's going on here. Um, because at the end of 
Halo 3, it, nothing like that happened. What happened was that uh, the Master Chief was now adrift in space. Uh, although I guess um, I guess people thought that the Master Chief died because he went. He, the Master Chief went missing. Uh, half of the ship with the Arbiter in it did indeed make it back to the Earth, but Master Chiefs have did not, and we still don't know where he went and what happened to him. I haven't started Halo Four yet. Um, they are, I'm sure, we'll figure out. Um, obviously, I, I should have said this at the beginning. No spoilers for anything that I haven't played yet. I've not played Halo Four and onwards. But if you have any lore or other tidbits of info that is not explained or cannot be figured out from any of the other games, feel free to leave that in the comments. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, um, I don't know what this is, this is all about. Like I said, this has never happened in Halo Three, um, but it's very cool. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the landfall trailer. Maybe this, I, I'm sure this will have a very different style. I don't know what this is going to be about though. It doesn't say Halo Three. Halo 3 ODST, it doesn't say Halo 2, it doesn't say what it's going to be about. Just Landfall. Landfall of the Flood? Or the Covenant? Who's making Landfall? Okay. We've got like a shipyard or something. Or something. Oh, that was something floating in the background there, some sort of ship. And it's getting scanned. IFF confirmed. Uh, Sun Defense Group that readiness level is critical. How can readiness level be critical? Request immediate. Okay, I need to I need I need to stop and, and rewatch that. I'm not reading fast enough. <laughs> I need to read faster. Let me just read this silently in my in my own head so I can read it fast enough. But yeah, it's a cool ship in the background there. Two of eight. Okay. So they're getting rearmed, and there's two of eight vessels? Nice effect there. The ship going past the sun like that. Oh, they're forging something? That almost looks like real, real life footage of something being. Oh, what is going on here? A lot of new helmets. Some new buggies they're working on. Getting all the soldiers ready for battle. Ooh, what are you injecting into in there? There's a pelican. Nice, battle rifles. That's what you need to give them. A lot of pistols. Warthogs coming off the assembly line. Ooh, little bit uh, tight, you know, bringing up the ship there. Almost clipped its wings off. Halo 3. Finish the fight. Ooh. Very realistic style we got going here. Hold up, let me see if I can increase the resolution here. Yeah, I, I can. Let me increase the resolution and uh, rewatch that. There we go, that's even better. Yeah, I think this is, um, I don't think this is a rendering. That fire is a rendering, but I don't think the rest of this is a rendering. It's like a mix of real life footage and CGI. What did he get? Rocket launcher? Oh. Somebody firing a needler? Or no, it's those weapons, right. I forgot those also do that. Okay, they're fighting the brutes. Got banshees blasting them. They need an extract to extract whatever that is. Go, 
Okay, so it's not even picking them up. They're just giving them a giving them a vehicle and saying, "Make your own way out of here." Moving west and incoming fighters. Yep. Yeah. Jeez. Transmission terminated. Oh, okay. I was gonna pause there since it seemed like a good point, but it's not. <laughs> Yeah, they are under very heavy fire. They only moved like a few feet and already one of them is wounded. How are they going to get that thing out of there? Oh, that's a sticky. Uh, that was really lucky. I think you would have been fine if you just left it on the wall and got behind it. Yikes. Oh, Master Chief's gonna put him break through. Make every shot count. One of those guys, that guy has an actual sniper rifle. Good for him. Yep, yeah, there he is. Blast him. There we go. <laughs> That's a satisfying headshot that you needed. If every soldier had one of those, easy. Oh no. That ain't much of a grenade. Oh yeah, that. Those guys are brutal. <laughs> the brutes are brutal, but especially when they have um, that mace, that mallet, that hammer. Oh, something's making landfall. Is it the Master Chief that's going to make landfall? What's going on here? What's coming from the sky? Yikes. You guys need to get some cover when you're fighting them, man. Ooh. Yikes. What is he char- Oh, it's, um... Target acquired. I don't know what that weapon's called, but it's the one that charges up and fires like a beam, right? That's it. We got him. Recovery team has his coordinates. Touching down soon. Back. His coordinates. So that's Master Chief? Ooh. All right, well, they got them off of the wall. Okay, that's a rocket launcher for sure. Yep, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the brutes aren't doing a good job of utilizing cover either. Three. Is that it? That is it. That's the end. Um, very action-packed trailer that we got this time. A lot of shaky cam, um, and I must say I, I really don't like shaky cam as a style. But I think for for here, obviously it's war. It makes it makes sense that there's um a lot of screen shake. <laughs> so that's reasonable. I don't know what it is that they were trying to extract with here. Um, they there was some sort of item on the ground. Well, first, first we saw this, the preparation of everybody getting ready for whatever this was. Um, but then these guys who were in this buggy, they had this uh, briefcase or whatever it was. Let me see if I can get another uh, another image of it. Let's see, where was it? There. Yeah, we have the package. So like this thing, what is this thing? 
what were they trying to grab? Because they were also waiting for Master Chief. They said they were waiting for Master Chief to break through. Um, so I don't know what part of Halo 3 this was. I feel like this one, though, um, it relates... It seems to, to feel more familiar and relate more directly to the events of Halo 3 than that previous trailer did, where... Um, because at least this stuff, I can imagine this happening. Uh, the other trailer, I cannot imagine... I don't I don't know when when that would have happened where we would get grabbed by a, a brute like that and he stole our weapon. Um but this makes a lot of sense. I just don't know what it is uh precisely that they're um trying to extract with here. But uh if they're just trying to extract with that, then they really should have just um gotten on this pelican and and flew not flew off uh flew off and gotten out of this place. But it seems like there's another objective other than that. So they got onto this buggy and they've just been holding this position, which is this, um, honestly, this is just looks like an, uh, uh, the, just a bunch of random, random, uh, concrete walls that have been erected. But I assume that this is supposed to be just some sort of, um, facility that was destroyed or some place in the city. That's, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, obviously that's not where they filmed it, but that's what this is meant to represent. Everybody's, uh, and then the, everybody keeps getting stabbed by these things. And I think that's from their, uh, I forget what their, their weapon is called. Uh, but it's, it does things similar to the Needler. The Needler actual, it fires actual needles that, that home in and explode. Um, but their automatic weapons that the Brutes use, they're a little bit different, but they also have like little spines that pop out from enemies, I, re I recall from using it in game. Um, so that's a cool detail that everybody just keeps getting impaled by these things. It's very brutal. Some of them have to get, like, sawed off so that they can actually escape from the wall that they've pinned on, been pinned onto. Really brutal. It kind of reminds me of the um, the crossbow from Half-Life 2. Um, if you've played that game, um, if you haven't, you should. <laughs> but if, you ha if you've played that game, it, you, you can fire the crossbow at, at an enemy. It'll pin them up against a wall with, like, a... What looks like a piece of rebar <laughs> and uh it's it's pretty great and uh of course the halo one doesn't do that in game but that's what it's doing in these trailers um it's quite intense and then we've just got a lot of death and destruction happening with um both the humans and the brutes none of them using cover very effectively a lot of grenades being thrown that hit walls and then people seem to think that they need to grab the grenade off the wall and then throw it no just leave it there just leave the grenade it's fine if the wall gets destroyed. Don't don't risk your life for a wall. Um, and there's other parts where, of course, it explodes right next to somebody. It doesn't doesn't do much. Um, so that was kind of funny. Um, but I'm glad all these people have um, have battle rifles instead of the assault rifles that we saw in the previous trailer. Much better weapons. Please please just give give all these guys better weapons. They deserve it. They're all, I mean they're all gonna die instantly anyways uh, in game. But at least at least give them a good weapon to go go down with a bang with that's what i say and then this guy what was this weapon he was using it was he just uh was he just tracking it was this not a weapon like i'm not sure what this is yeah this this that was that was like insane target acquired but there's like that charge up sound he says target acquired as if he's charging up that Railgun style weapon, the one that charges up like this with a little circle, and then it fires a blast. It does a ton of damage. It seems like that might be what that is, but it doesn't look the same. And uh, he only, and he doesn't fire with it. He only uses it to track where something is making landfall. Maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm. So uh, I, I, I've already played Halo 3 ODST. So the exact events of Halo 3 are a little bit fuzzier in my mind than, than they perhaps should be when watching this trailer. So I don't remember what exactly would be making landfall at this time. Um, actually, hold on. At the very beginning of Halo 3, didn't we make landfall in that type of way? Uh, if I recall, at the very beginning of Halo 3, we dropped in uh, like a meteor onto the ground. And I remember somebody gave us some crap about... Like, eventually that's gonna not work for you. <laughs> you shouldn't be trusting your armor to go into lockup mode and actually let you survive falls like that. Not a smart idea. Somebody, some character told us that. Um, it it might have been that guy that, the guy that died in, uh, in Halo 3. Um, but somebody told us that. So I think that's what this is referring to. This is probably the events at the very beginning of 
Halo 3 before any of that even started. I think I have that right. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to like both of these videos. You too should also go and like my videos and subscribe. I'm an extremely small channel, so if you enjoy all of my content, please, uh, please do all of those things. Um, but yeah, I think that's, uh, I don't know if I have too much more to say. Those are very cool trailers. I liked how they had very different styles. This one was more of a, um, a diorama, or is that what you call it? It was a, uh, just a set that you was zooming around, giving a, it, it was very detailed, gave us a very nice view on everything, um, and it, it trolled a, quite an intense, intense view of the battle, and so did this one, um, but this one obviously was much more, um, much more animated. I especially like this part. <laughs> I can, I can rewatch that part. Like, I can, I can keep rewatching this part because this part is just so great. Listen to this nice sound effect. That's awesome. <laughs> and then another one. Yeah. I don't know what's what, what about sniper rifles is so great. There's a reason that sniper rifles are so popular in first person shooters. It's, they're just they're just awesome. Um, that's about all I've got to say. These are both really nice trailers. Um, thank you for recommending these to me. I'm probably gonna just go and start Halo 4 now because I'm still still very interested in what is actually happening with the Master Chief. We took a little bit of a break from Master Chief and ODST. I'm ready to get back to him. I want to see what happens to him. I want to see what happens to Cortana. I want to see what this world is that he's going to be falling into. So yeah, that's about all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed watching. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.